Hi there, and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to use the inspect function in Stata. In order to do so, we'll start with a census 13 data set that is pre-installed in Stata. We'll just access that by typing web use census, and if you are interested, you can surf around a bit in that data set to see what it is. It's just a record of the demographic characteristics of the states. And what we're going to do today is just apply the inspect command to look at three of the variables in that data set, birth rate, population, and region. And once again, if you want to see the exact names that these variables take, you can just uh, enter edit and look around in that data set. I'm assuming that we already know what these variables are called. We just push enter. And we pull up three sets of records here. And I just want to note, by the way, that we could have entered just one if we'd wanted to. Uh, I just went ahead and entered all three so that we could see some of the differences between the variables. So what you get here from the left going to the right, you have kind of a very basic histogram. I would, I would barely call it that. It hardly rises to the, to the characteristics of a histogram, but it, it does give you a general idea of the shape of the distribution. So when we look at birth rate, we'll see that the span is from 125 to 286 and uh, most of the values are clustered over here and there's some outliers I guess going in this direction. Uh, for data management purposes it's really good to look at the number of observations. We see that we have 50 positive observations. Um, if we'd had let's say a uh, negative birth rate or you know something of that kind we would know that there was a coding error in this data set, and I'm assuming you can't have a negative birth rate. Uh, you know, there might be some demographic adjustment or something that net results in a negative birth rate, but you know, just the way the census data are coded, we wouldn't expect that to happen. So this basically tells us, look, we have 50 positive values, um, nothing is missing, um, and we know that 36 of them are unique. So that tells us there's a little bit of a overlap here. Some states appear to share the same birth rate. Scrolling down here, we see uh, the distribution for population. It's, it's kind of skewed over here. We see that most of the states have smaller populations. We see that there are 50 unique values, which is what we would expect to be a, a great coincidence if two states had exactly the same population. And we see the same information here, that all 50 are positive and nothing is missing. So that's a, that's a good kind of sanity check on these data. And then finally, region. It's a little bit different here because region is categorically coded. So population and birth rate are, of course, continuous variables. Region is not. And one thing that also alerts you to that is when you type inspect, you're told that it's labeled. Um, so that label actually ends up being, you know, northeast, north, central, west, and south. Uh, you don't know that right from the inspect command here, but just knowing that it's labeled and knowing that it's census region. Um, you know that this is going to be a different kind of variable than population and birth rate. The thing about the inspect command, it's, uh, it's, it's very general. It does have some features that are good for summarizing uh, the data from sort of a data management perspective, but you would want to follow up this command with uh, summarize, um, you know, summarize detail uh, list and other kinds of uh, commands that would get you looking more into the data set and of course the edit command if you actually want to get in there and look at the data themselves. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students Therefore, we work very closely with you in order to perfect your Chapter 3 and Chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter four uh, following a perfect chapter three and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. 
We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service, so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting, and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.